What's going on YouTube? Uh, just wanted to show off the latest updates to my enclosure for my Grizzly G0704 CNC mill. So this is my new flood coolant enclosure and it's based off of the original stand. Uh, I haven't painted the stand yet but I did uh, liquid nail and bolt with uh, carriage bolts three quarter inch MDF all the way around the sides and the back which made the stand itself more rigid and then the enclosure itself has a really unique design to it so the enclosure is made out of plywood and common board and then it is inside fiberglass and I've got fiberglass to uh, surround where it meets to the base and then it actually leads into this opening so everything is pitched it pitches down on this side and it pitches and there's a trough on the front and the back side of the machine and it all leads down into this flat area with this big opening so the point of the big opening is the lower tank is got the pump for the flood coolant and it's got coolant in it the upper tank is removable and there's a bunch of holes on top of there and then this removable section has um, just some mesh silicone into the bottom so this will catch the chips separate the coolant and then you have a really easy way to remove your chips so that's a 17 gallon tote That'll fill up with a lot of chips before you have to empty it. Plus I just have more room in the enclosure itself for chips. Um, so set up flood coolant, get a wash down hose, make it really easy to clean after doing a bunch of machining here. So uh, I think you saw a previous video, I've got the integrated air blast, we've got the mist coolant, and we're going to have the flood coolant run shortly do have the button installed for the tool release and then just made a nice little cover here uh, automatic tool changer still running uh, awesome and then I made up some racks out of acrylic on the laser cutter just to hold some TTS tools on both sides and then this actually needs to get painted still but this was actually flipped over and was at the front of my old enclosure and I was getting ready to throw it out and I realized that I made these pockets out of it and reinforce it when I did it. So I'm like why not use this as a bin to hold stuff. So I'm really happy with that. I'm just waiting on a light to show up from Amazon to put an interior light in the enclosure. Go ahead and Hit a tool change for you guys. Oh man, I love that. So just a couple other things on the enclosure. This is two by two angle that you find by like the drywall section at the home improvement store. And I've got that for the frame. And it is screwed in to the wood at the bottom. It's hidden by the paneling. And then at the top, I as I assemble it, I just use duct tape. I'm gonna go back and put a couple rivets in each corner. I haven't done that yet. And then this is just uh, corrugated plastic or coroplast. So I got, you know, big sheets from Home Depot. They're, it needed two, two uh, four by eight sheets or 20 bucks a piece. And it is just two side taped in the sides and the top. And then it is screwed in at the bottom. And so far, 
you know everything's really solid with it I used the Coroplast before and I know it's definitely gonna work I made it actually a foot taller than my old enclosure prevent any chips and and splash from over the top I reused the window assembly from the last enclosure I'm not really happy about it the major thing that I don't like about this is that when you open the door everything drips um, so I'm thinking there's something that I can do a little bit better for that but um, you know I have it so I'm gonna run it for now and uh, you know just kind of scissors open and then I just reuse the old latch that I had on it so you can lock it but uh, yeah that pretty much does it for the new enclosure next video we'll uh, try to get some uh, action shots of the mill running parts and uh, just show you guys the uh, the chip separation in action so thanks always is for watching please subscribe if you haven't yet for more videos do have a lot of cool stuff planned for the near future thanks again